Hello, this is Daryl Webster from Modern Workplace Change. A year ago, I took you through a video to show you how to invite all your team members to a Microsoft Teams meeting. This has been a mixed experience in the past. Sometimes it works and the email goes out to, or the invite goes out to all team members, and in some teams it doesn't. And it all depends on when you created the team and how it was created, whether it was created based on an Outlook group or whether it was just created as a team from scratch. Now, uh, in response to a question from uh, Reed Robinson, who, um, you know, he points out that surely there's got to be a better way. Daryl, this video is nice and all, but it's a bit convoluted and a bit difficult to go back and try and fix the problem. Can we just do something to our Microsoft team and make it work the way that we want? What's the goal? To be able to send an email to the address of the group, uh, whether it be an email or a meeting invite, and it gets sent to all members of the team. Read, yes, we can, we can do this now. So um, let's go through some of those steps. I have created a brand new team just minutes ago called Change Champions and I've added two people to that. There's Laura and there is Matt. And um, they're members of the team. I would like to be able to email the team address or send an invite to the team and be able to uh, see that email uh, or that email gets sent through to Laura and Matt. So we'll go through and take a look at how it currently works. We'll uh, send a email through to the team. We'll add or we'll send a new message to this group called Change Champions at webster.net.nz. Okay. And this we don't expect to go through. Did this work? Send it on through. And we'll check with Laura to see if it arrives in her inbox. And so we don't expect to see it. She has got the email to say that she has been added to the team only a few minutes ago, but she's not receiving that message to be able to um, receive it when it's sent through to the team email address. And that also means when we send an email, a, a meeting invite, she won't receive it. So what is the setting that allows us to control this? Well, back into our admin center, uh, when we search in the active groups, we find change champions. And there is a setting now available, we don't need to use PowerShell, uh, which is available here. First of all, there's the setting that hides the email address or the, the Microsoft team from the global address list. And Microsoft make this the default because they want you to be using Microsoft Teams to communicate with your people. They don't want confusion of people emailing the team and then having to think, well, where do I find these, um, these messages, these emails to the team? Um, so if you do want to use this feature though for your team and you want to be able to receive email, then you can untick that box and you'll be able to see your team in the global address list. How do we configure it so that people receive the email? We'll uh, tick this box, which is about sending copies of group conversations and events to the group members. And so by ticking this box and saving it, let's see what happens there. We'll go through and quickly create a new message once that's saved. Okay, new message for, Sending to our Change Champions group. Um, new idea, and we should send that through. Now, in theory, this means that Laura should receive it, and there it is. Laura's experience of it, she's received the new message because she is now subscribed, in a sense, to the inbox of the team mailbox in the background. Um, so, that's great, that means that we can go through our final thing, which is to, um, we will create a event or a meeting. Um, so if we go through to, let's jump into next week, and we'll create this as a monthly meetup, and we'll add our change champions as an email address. Make it a Teams meeting, of course. 
Uh, but this is now going to send the invite out and it will arrive in everyone's inboxes who are members of the team. So let's do that. Send that through. Okay, we'll skip that tip there for creating. And we should see the meeting invite arrive very shortly in Laura's inbox. There we go. So we have been able to control this behavior simply by using those tick boxes within the admin center. There was one other one that was uh, available here, just as a quick explanation. Um, allow external senders to email this group or email this Microsoft team. So if you do want to allow people to find that mailbox or members of the team and manage the mailboxes, if you're using it for um, managing service requests, uh, via email and you want to receive them from an external sender, then you can do that too. You can tick that box and make that possible. So thanks for that question, Reid, for the, the recap and it's uh, prompted me to update the video. Hopefully this has been helpful. I'm pretty happy to see that it's a few tick boxes in a user interface rather than a collection of just PowerShell commands that are not really accessible to most people who may need to administer this feature. Thanks for tuning in, we'll thank, and we'll see you again next time. If you're keen to see more content around this, then you know what to do. Uh, you know where to find me. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.